Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to cut holes, how to cut any of the holes in Blender 3.6. So now I already opened the Blender 3.6 and as demo, I'm going to press A and delete everything. And I'm going to add a simple mesh, for example, a cube. Then I'm going to do a demo on how to cut any of the holes in this cube. So as demo, let's say I'm going to create a, a mesh, a cylinder. Then I press G to move it and I press X. Then I press S to make it small. Now, if I want to cut a, a very tiny round hole at here, so first I'm going to extrude this. Uh, I'm going to make, make it longer. Then and then I'm going to rotate it, for example, like this. Then I'm going to move, let's say I press, I click here to move it to like this. Now I'm going to create a hole at here based on this stick. I'm going to dig a hole at here. Pretty easy, you have to click the cube first and then go to the modifier, add a modifier, choose boolean. Then here maintain as difference and the object you click here to choose this cylinder. Once you choose it already, then click here, click apply. Now you can move away this G. Now you can see a hole is already cut at cut at there. Let's say if you want to cut one more, just do in the in this way, and press press G to move it. Let's say this is another hole that you want to cut. Click and add modifier, boolean, difference. Then click here, apply. Then move it away. G. Wait, what's wrong? Click, click here. The object have to select, I forget to select. So now selected already. Once selected already, click here, apply and move away this. Now, it already have two holes. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export it as FBX properly that contain the hole and I'm going to add, add more holes here let's say a big one now one more hole at here click then Add the modifier, boolean, select the object, click to select the cylinder, then click here, apply. Now, I move it away. You can see it already have a few holes. Let's say if I want to export as FBX, if I direct export the FBX on the desktop, I click here, file, export, FBX, then the path mode I choose copy and click here. If I direct export the FBX cube with hole 01, then there will be some problems. Let's have a look. Let's see. Export FBX. Where is it? I export it on my desktop. Export. Now, if I double click to open, actually, there are some problems here. Now you can see it export together with this. So hence, I have to click File, Export, FBX. Then here, tick selected object only. I only want to have the cube that click Export. Then open it again. Now you can see it only exported the cube, but you can see there are some problems here. This is not, not exported properly. So to make sure it, it is exported properly, first you have to make sure you export the DAE first. So this one, this is some, something wrong. 
I don't want this, I delete it. The first step, just click export the DAE. And then the selection only. Make sure you already selected it. Then, as demo, I will export it on my desktop as well. I will export this as cube with hole 01. Export the Coleda. Once exported as Coleda, then open again the Blender, the Blender 3.6. Open with another window. You can see, I can open two times. This is another window. Just delete it. So I click File, Import the Coleda, the DAE file from the desktop again. And then at this time, I click File and Export the FBX. Same as just now. I export as FBX. Now I name this as 02 cube with hole. 02 export as FBX. So for this time, if I open, you can see all of the holes. They are properly. They have the the good hole at there. If you direct export the FBX, then there will be something wrong. At the whole so for this time everything okay all right that's all for today about my tutorials on how to create holes how to cut holes in blender 3.6 on any of the 3d meshes and then export it as fbx with with good step with certain steps you will get a perfect 3d models with the whole cuts all right that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my videos tutorials, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos tutorials, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing. See you!